Adobe subscription costs $600 per year to get the full suite and to get the photography bundle or whatever. Honestly, not that much cheaper. One of the biggest issues when you're just starting out as an artist, as a filmmaker, as a photographer, whatever, is that the software is really expensive. And there are standalone programs that are an incredible value on their own. For example, for video editing, DaVinci Resolve, you get the free version, you can do most of what you need to, and then if you want a little extra performance, well, a lot of extra performance, and some more features, you got the $300 one-time purchase value, which is a lot better than $600 per year with Adobe. There's also a couple other ways that you can get software for really cheap if you're just wanting to get the tools to paint, to make collages, to do photo editing or whatever. And I wanna cover a couple here. The first is Humble Bundle. This is a service that's, if you've never heard of, surprisingly, it's been around for a very long time. I've bought from them for over a decade. And what it started as, and it still kind of is, is bundles of assets, software, games, it started just for games, and now they have books and things like that, that they bundle together and then raise money for charity. They've since been acquired by another company and the, the focus on the charity has kind of gone down, but you can manually override your donation amount basically so that you give most of the money to charity still, which is pretty cool. They support a lot of great charities and they just combine a lot of software or games or books or whatever into some pretty good value bundles. And there are a lot of tools that I won't update or buy for the first time until they show up in a Humble Bundle. They're not always great. They're not always gonna be stuff you don't want. It's not something you're expected to buy every single time. But I like highlighting it whenever there's ones I pick up because I think if I'm trying to save money on it, then a lot of other people probably are as well. As mentioned over on their website, they do have different groups of bundles. So there's games, if you're a gamer and you wanna play you know, the groups of games. They have a subscription service for games and stuff. I don't mess with that. It's called like Humble Choice or something. Eh, but they do provide DRM free or Steam key bundles for games. Then they have a book section and this isn't super relevant to this video, but there is in the books section, a big collection of 3D printable files for miniatures and dungeons and things like that. If you play Dungeons and Dragons or you paint miniatures or something like that, pretty good value there. You usually have to pay a lot for these kinds of big bundles. So I went ahead and picked that up as well. And then there's some books on witchcraft and uh, the, the one that got me checking the site again recently was a big book bundle on game design. That's still available for a few days. So that's pretty cool. But but if you go under software specifically, there's a couple that I really wanted to highlight here, which is the Anything But Ordinary Painters Bundle, I think it is called, and it's a bunch of paint software. So the 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 big num the big names here are Paint Shop Pro, and these are all the updated versions. They usually do bundles each year with the updated version from that year. There's also big video editor bundles and stuff sometimes. There's Aftershot Pro, which is gonna be a, a photo editor, kind of like Lightroom or Capture One. And then there's Corel Painter, and then it comes with a bunch of brush and digital paper and asset packs for those software, which is a really good value. And you only have to pay $30.81. You can pay more if you want. $30.81 to get the entire bundle, which compared to the price of buying those software individually, especially with all the free assets and stuff, really good value there. There's also an indie game sound effects one. If you need sound effects for a project or something, that's in there as well. And then there's also a content creator bundle from uh, MOV AVI, MOV AVI, MOV AVI. Why would you make your company name file extensions shoved together? I guess it's clever, I don't know. But it's some video editor programs and like a music creator and stuff. I'm not a huge fan of these cheaper video editors. They usually end up just teaching bad habits or not being as great of a starting point as just like a standard NLE, like Resolve or Premiere or something. But it's available to you if you want something super cheap. They do usually have Vegas Pro bundles each year as well. And so those are the humble bundle options. And I've, I, I was very impressed with the Painter one. I went ahead and picked that up because I like updating my art software as I move forward. If you want to see tutorials on this kind of stuff, let me know. I just like keeping my ear to the ground for what tools are available. There are, of course, open source software options for certain things, not everything, which is why I highlight these. The bundle also comes, <laughs> it comes with WinZip, which is just amusing to me. Use 7-Zip. It's free, it's open source, it's been around forever. Don't, uh, the WinZip license meme or WinRAR license meme just drives me nuts, but. You, you use 7-Zip if you need that. I also wanted to mention Steam Sales. Steam Sales, which Steam is a game distribution platform storefront, also been around forever, run by Valve, who makes Half-Life, Left 4 Dead, games like that. Steam has regular summer sales, or summer sales, regular sales for all kinds of events. There's summer sales, there's fall sales, there's Christmas sales, there's New Year's sales. There, there's sales every quarter at least, and lots of games and software goes on discount on that. And I've been very surprised over the past few years, the software catalog has actually increased a lot and I've been buying more and more software on Steam, specifically because it, you can get it so cheap on these sales. And so there's programs for making pixel art, there's programs for drawing, there's programs for 3D sculpting, there's all sorts of stuff like that. And so if you're really trying to keep your eye out and maximize your budget, keep an eye on the Steam page, add games to your, 
programs to your wish list and you'll automatically get email notifications when they go on sale and sign up for, I guess, notifications of new Humble Bundles. I usually only buy from them once or twice a year. This isn't something I expect you to do often, but it's a great way to save money because I, my, my goal here when I talk about this stuff, and I will highlight plenty of free and open source software as well because that's, I mean, that's what my main channel is all about. My goal here is to make sure that you find the options available to you because piracy is a big problem with art because if you pirate a creative program, you don't own the copyrights to anything you make with that. And the second that can be proven, the owner of the software owns the copyrights of any art you make with a pirated program. It is a big deal to not screw that up and to not leverage any business you try to run based on that as well. But 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 the reality is, is that piracy is not really a funds problem so much as an accessibility problem. And so my goal is to make as many people as possible aware of the alternatives of the ways to save money to still have things above board so that they are best protected. It's not about, you know, protecting the companies or trying to make sure you're not stealing from them or anything like that. It's about protecting you, your copyrights, your 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 business validity in that regard. And highlighting some sales and stuff like this is a great way to make sure you save money and perhaps get some more advanced tools. Maybe you've been using some basic stuff. You're like, I really want the big stuff, but I can't afford it. Corel's been around for like 30 years. They may not be Adobe, but they make tools that have been around that are used by professionals and fields and have for a long time. So just wanted to highlight this super quick video, testing new setups and things like that. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to be kind, rewind. Let me know your top budget software recommendations for art in the comments below.